You seem upset. No, it's um, it's hard. When I when I I tripped over your back when I when I walked in here, it, seeing it. Go on. It, it triggered something. What? I don't know. Some kind of memory or. Of what? I'm not sure. That that's the thing. I can't remember. The memory's gone. But it troubled you. Does that make sense? Well, it could be of no real consequence. Your body's getting back into the swing of things from the coma. I would imagine that a lot of odd sensations will come with that. Yeah, I just, I just, I can't, I can't shake the sense that the memory had something to do with what happened to me right before I passed out. Well, it could be that your mind is trying to make sense of it by uh, going through random memories. And I'm no psychologist, but that seems to be the most logical explanation to me, you think. Yeah, I, I suppose. I don't know. Listen to me. Are you listening, Emily? Sometimes it's best not to remember. Some memories are too painful. You need to focus on the future, on having a baby with Paul. Your body and your mind are ready. Time to get the ball rolling, okay? So negative I'm just curious, Mother, why all of a sudden it Emily. seems like you are this guy's biggest fan? Because he's a good person. And because because he's trying to help you, and you need to give him another chance. Explain to me why I should do that. Okay, then, Paul, trust me on this, all right? Because pretty soon you're going to see that he really has our best interest. See, I don't even know what that means. Do you know something about this guy that I don't know that you need to clue me in on? Okay, stop it right now. Stop turning my innocent comments into well, something Well, maybe all of your comments him. aren't so innocent. That proves my point. No, something odd is going on with the two of you, and it's been going on since he's been sticking you with his needle. I beg your pardon. There is something very strange happening here, and I want to know what it is. I don't want to discuss this anymore. I just want to see my granddaughter. Okay, but this conversation's not over. Uh, what conversation? Oh, good. You're both here. Hi, Emily. How are you feeling? Fine. Better than fine. Like nothing ever happened. That's wonderful. Thank you. Barbara. I'm gonna go um, upstairs and see my granddaughter. Excuse me, would you? What's going on? Hello? I asked you a question. I'm so happy you're home. Yeah, me too. Glad you're feeling better. I am. Much better. And I'm ready. You're ready? You're ready for what? To focus on our future. On making our baby. It's time to get the ball rolling. Are you serious? You're thinking about having a baby right now. I never stopped wanting to have a baby with you. Really? You didn't stop when you were in a coma? That's what you were thinking about. Don't do oh, that. Don't, 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 baby. don't act like that. What? Actually, I think for once I'm the one who's being responsible. This is what we've wanted. This is what we've always wanted. It's, it's the reason for mixed treatments. It's what we've talked about and, and been excited about for weeks. I don't understand why suddenly you're so hesitant. Because you just got out of the hospital, and I don't think your body is ready to deal with having a baby. I am. I am absolutely ready. Why? Because he says so? Mick's not even a doctor. You're right. I'm not. So your opinion doesn't mean much, does it? Well, Paul, my treatments have been going very successfully with Emily. Yeah, until she wound up in the hospital. <sighs> Do you mind? This is kind of a private conversation. Of course Eliza, he's sound asleep and I didn't want to wake her up, so... Well, it's just as well. Emily and I have some things we need to discuss. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. I'd like for us to be left alone. Oh. Well, Mick, I, I think I am due for another treatment, if you have the time. Matter of fact, I do. 
Good. I'll call you later. Oh, what is going on? Nothing. Nothing? Did I do something? Are you mad at me? No, I'm ready to move forward with getting pregnant and... For some reason, you are suddenly against it. I never said I was against but it. But you don't want to have a child with me anymore, do you? Of course I want to have a child with you, Emily, but not at the expense of your health. It won't be. I'm fine. It's time to get the ball rolling. Okay, see, when you talk like that, when you say things like that, it's like, it's like you're not even you. Well, you know what? When you talk, you don't sound like you either. You sound like someone who doesn't love me. Of course someone I Someone who doesn't you. want to have That's a child with me. That's why I want me. us to be careful. I don't want something to go wrong because we didn't take a little time to step back. So we didn't take the time to have a full medical workup first. I need first. a full medical workup. They, they never would have released me from the hospital if I wasn't perfectly normal. I'm fine. And Mick agrees. Mick is not a doctor. He... Half the time, I don't even know what the guy is talking about. If you are turning your back on Nick, you are turning your back on us and no, our future. No, I am not. I'm trying to protect our future. You... No. All I want to do is keep you safe. That's all I want. And that way, nothing will go wrong when you do get pregnant. Please, you need to trust me. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, honey. What the hell are you doing, Art? Oh, I have no what idea what you're you talking now? about. Did you or did you not tell her that she was ready to get pregnant? I told her that she was ready to get pregnant. There was no reason Based on what? On what information is that based on? My test results have I don't care about your stupid little test what results. You, what you mean? I have been that? monitoring her blood work and her yeah. organ function My wife very close. is not a lab rat. Calm down, Paul. Calm. You understand something. You are in my house because my wife wants you there, but I don't like it. Now, you back off. And I mean now. You will be thrown out of my life and my house so fast your head will spin. Do you understand me? Answer me. Calm down. Calm down. I'm calm. Calm down. Let him go, okay? Paul, let him go. Let go of him. Thank you. I don't want you giving my wife any more of your so-called advice. I assure you I have no intention of interfering with your marriage or of causing Emily any harm. Well, guess what? You failed. Well, she asked my opinion and I told her what I thought. That she is ready to get pregnant. You don't know anything about my wife. I understand that this is a decision that the two of you have to make together. I won't cross that line again. Excuse me. What the hell was that all about? What that are you doing? was me defending my family. That's something you might want to try sometime. You absolutely refuse to give that man any credence really? at all. And how about you? you? You take every single word that he says as gospel. I have faith in him. That's something that you might have a little bit of of you. And All I need is assurance that nothing else is going to happen to Emily. Mick is giving you that. <sighs> what is that? What? That way. Look at it. You didn't have that on earlier. I just put... Don't change the subject here. That. What difference does that make? Well, you're B, I guess, from J to B with eternal love. Huh. Who the hell is J? I don't know. Mick found it in an antique store. No, didn't that inscription? That's new. Why would a guy named Mick put a J? Who is this guy? And why are you coming? I can't 